Hey everyone, this is Ross, and today's video is gonna be a quick one. We're gonna talk about observing your landscape, being a better gardener, and the importance of being a good observer, being with your plants, being with your trees, and inspecting them closely, because what we have down here is actually a branch that we had cut off one of my pear trees. And it actually looked really horrible. It's been looking horrible for a few days now and I've been wondering what's been going on. And uh, after a closer look, I realized that the bottom of this branch here that I cut off was starting to die, it was starting to die back. I saw some damage here. I don't know exactly what the, the cause of this is, whether it's a borer, maybe it is fire blight, maybe it's just a natural cause of just something weird that happened to the tree in this location. But you can see down in here is that half of the branch is dead. So the top half is green, the cambium, and the bottom half is brown and dead. So what was happening was that this branch really didn't look too good on this tree. And that was because half of the branch was starting to die and um, wasn't giving the nutrients that it needed to support all the fruit and all the leaves higher up on the on the branch. So we cut this out and because we are careful observers, we're careful gardeners, we are making sure to take this out prematurely in case this is something serious. And what I'm gonna do is actually dispose of this. I'm not even gonna put this down here um, as mulch, but what if it was fire blight? I mean, this is kind of the time you would see that fire blight, right? The, pe the pears are in bloom. Once the pears are in bloom, you're certainly more susceptible. That's when the fire blight enters the tree. So it's important to keep an eye out for this kind of thing. It's important to keep an eye out for, for borer damage or for dead wood or diseased wood or whatever it is. That's how we're gonna be better gardeners, better orchardists. Because if we're not paying close attention, these problems can get away from us. And that's what really separates an average gardener from a really good one is being able to understand what had happened, understand the issue. And then once you understand the issue, then correcting the issue in the future. So be a good observer, come out here, be with your trees, spend time with them, look closely. Don't just look from afar, from three feet away, get really up close and personal and inspect these branches. Touch them, feel them. And I promise you, you're gonna learn a lot more and you're gonna be a better gardener because of it. All right, guys, thanks for watching this one. I know it was quick, but it is an important lesson. Take care, everyone.